Hey everybody, it's Jack Uxa. We got a Bass and Bob weekly fishing report here. Um, it's the 1st of June right now. Things have been just fine. Uh, haven't been killing them, but haven't been doing too bad either. There's a lot of fish that are still shallow, believe it or not. Um, things are getting pretty hot uh, as far as temperature wise. Uh, humidity's risen quite a bit lately. Uh, pretty soon these fish are going to start moving out deeper. Um, but I went out by myself. I'm, I'm sitting here in my brand new bass boat. Uh, it's a Nitro Z21. And uh, I went out by myself the other day and I actually caught a couple fish that were close to six pounds right off the shallow corner of docks. Um, you know, fishermen, we, we kind of, to, kind of uh, now we're always thinking about that next step. And that next step is going to be out on the deeper ledges on the main lake points, long extended points. but. Um, believe it or not, there's a lot of fish that just haven't moved out there yet. Now, it'll be happening here pretty soon, but as right now, taking a shake, uh, well, I'll show you exactly, guys. Taking this big Magnum shaky head. This is a, a Bass Pro Shops uh, head here, or a Crocker Gator, Gator Shaker head on a Bass Pro Shops Sticko. And throwing this along the corners of docks, and um, look for any kind of dock that's got some ledge bank to it. Um, it's, it I'm not throwing it super shallow. I'm not looking for these fish to be bedding, um, but I am fishing shallow on um, main lake docks or very close to the main lake docks. And uh, you know, I went out the other day by myself just a few hours and had three big ones on this. Um, so there's a lot of fish that are still shallow, believe it or not. Maybe it's got to do with all the cloud cover we've been having lately. Um, now, looking at the next week's forecast, uh, a week from today, we're going to have several days of 95, 96 degree weather, believe it or not. So that's going to help to push those fish out deeper. How quickly they get out there is going to depend on the current. Um, but there's a lot of fry up shallow right now. I uh, haven't really been doing much with the top waters lately. The Carolina rigs, the Magnum shaky heads there have been really good. Um, show you my Carolina rig setup that we caught some fish on today. It's a fairly short Carolina rig. I'm not really a big fan of the real long Carolina rigs. But I've got uh, some tungsten right there, and then a little lead and a swivel, and a 10 pound monofilament. Uh, this worm has got a lot of ribs on it. It's called the Berkeley Rib Snake. Uh, me and Joe were talking beforehand. We both like these worms a lot. They do tear up pretty easily, but they get the bites. I mean, they just absolutely get the bites. Green pumpkin, always a good place to start. Um, you know, they, they make some other good colors also, but green pumpkin is a good place to start. It works great on a shaky head or a Carolina rig. I think the ribs help it float. I've also got a fairly small hook on there, just a little three odd hook and um, fairly heavy weight. I don't know what that is. It's, it's the tungsten stuff, so it's kind of hard to, guesstimate but it's a probably a half ounce or so so those are the two baits I'm, I'm throwing the most right now drop shot has been starting to catch some fish um, now what's going to be going on well real quickly this is the Bass Pro Shop Sticko uh, I buy them in these big packs because we go through a ton of them I uh, save a little bit of money that way and uh, so that's what's going on now what's going to be happening is the big worm bite is going to be picking up here pretty darn soon um, plum is a good color. It's probably my, it, it is my favorite color. Um, once again, I buy them in these big packs because we go through them. Uh, black and blue, red shad. Uh, there's a number of good proven colors out there. When they start getting out there on those big long points, that's a really fun bite that unfortunately a lot of people miss out on. And it's kind of my favorite time of the year. Well, it's one of my favorite times of the year, I should say. And uh, it's about using your electronics, finding the long tapering points or finding the bluff end points that they're on. Um, that coupled with the current, that should be. Um, Truman Lake is a little high right now. As of this morning, it was 7 11. That's four feet high. That means we're going to be having some current, especially when we get that high temperature. They're going to be jacking up the current. And believe it or not, there might actually be a pretty good afternoon bite. It's not just going to be a morning bite. If and it's going to have to do with the current being generated through Bagman Land. So, um, you know, there's that phone number on Bass and Bob's website to call Bagnall Dam. There's a, I've got an app on my phone that talks about the, uh, the lake levels and what St. Thomas 
you know, which is the Osage River, um, uh, what their level's at, the app's called Ozark Area Lakes, Ozark Area Lake Levels. Search and find that app because it'll tell you all the different lake levels and how much water they're being pulled, how much water is being pulled. Um, football jigs are another great bait that uh, is just around the corner. I mean, um, I've got a crocker gator jig here. I think this is called the reaction jig. I think it's about three quarters of an ounce. Big heavy jig, something you can reach out there with, work down those shelves with, and uh, they will absolutely thump it. Okay, guys, that's about it. Uh, now, Bass and Bob's gonna we're gonna be doing the meeting here uh, tomorrow night for the month of June. Um, I'm sure many of you guys are gonna check that out. Uh, check out YoloTech.com. We're uh, if you ever have we're we're vi filming this right now on a GoPro, and sometimes GoPros batteries don't last that long. So YoloTech is a new company here out of Kansas City, um, working with Casey Scallon and a lot of the big uh, national touring pros about. Uh, how to have GoPros mounted to their bass boats. So check them out. Uh, check out Nitro Bass Boats. I just bought this one. Uh, super happy with it. Absolutely love it. I wish y'all could see it a little bit better than uh, right now, but I, um, I'll i be posting some things on Facebook. Uh, Jack Sky Service, uh, Facebook. And uh, I don't know, just uh, check them out. Uh, these companies are working with me and uh, they're, they're nice to work with. So they're, can't think of them enough. I mean, Bass Pro Shops and Nitro Bass Boats. I mean, that's a that's a great combination. So that's why they're they're kicking butt and taking names and selling a lot of boats. So good luck fishing, guys.